using tiled. So the two techniques we're going to use today are uh, the terrain tool and auto mapping for tile. So one of the things I got recently um, was a pretty sweet bundle of tile sets. Um, so I got these tile sets uh, called the High Fantasy Bundle. So <clears throat> you can actually still buy this. Um, on the RBG Maker website, High Fantasy Mega Bundle. So here's kind of what the end product looks like, some of these guys here. So it looks pretty sweet. It's it's kind of, you know, about 10 years ago, maybe 15 years ago, RPGs like uh, Ultima or, um, you know, some of those kind of style RPGs. So it's better than your old, really old school 8-bit, 16-bit sprites, but it's not the modern day 3D renderings, but it's still pretty good looking. And uh, there's a lot of tiles, and the format of the tiles is right here. So this is the, this is the standard kind of format they're in, and this is the RPG Maker format. So uh, if you pull one of these up, basically this sprite sheet here contains the tile set for <clears throat> you know two, four, six, eight, uh, twenty-four different kind of tile sets. So you can see here we have some blocky ones that you use to make castles, and then you have these more organic rounded ones that are used to make caves and whatnot. So using these tile sets actually took me a little bit of time to, to figure out how to make something look good. So the first technique you can use is using the terrain tool. So I'm going to show you how to use that to make um, like a castle type, uh, you know, 90 degree angle rooms and also make uh, a cave with more organic rounded walls. So we'll start up a new map here. Um, so first thing to note is we're, the tile site is 16 by 16. Um, I'm just going to pull up a new one. Let's make it a little bit bigger here. We're going to do 50 by 50 so we have more room to work with. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to import some of our tile sets here. So we're going to use, let's do this one here that we we're looking at. And the one thing to note is <clears throat> Let me just re-import that. We want the imported at 16 by 16. So kind of by default, I think you can do 30, 32, 32. And that's going to be too large for these tiles to really get the kind of detail you need to uh, get, the, get the right corners and whatnot. So, um, And then we're also going to import kind of a, a background tile. Um, this is kind of your your ground and whatnot. So let's just do something with the ground first. So the first thing you can do is just make grass using the paint tool. So you just have grass. And then what we're going to do is let's make a path. So by default you can make a path, you know, like with the stamp and just kind of drag it around. Uh, if you had one you could just kind of fill it in. So it's not going to be real pretty looking because it's all jaggedy edges and corners and whatnot. So what we want to do is, is use the terrain tool. So we're going to make a new layer first. So the train tools are here. You hit this button here. Um, so we hit plus. We're going to do path as our train. So what we do is we're going to basically going to define this path. So I'm trying to remember which one this was. So I think it looks like this. So this is what really took a lot of experimentation was finding out exactly how to draw these guys. Let's give that a shot. Um, so I'll go back to that in a second, but let's make sure that's right. So a little, a little bit of mistakes on this one, but overall you can kind of see how it's making a more organic looking path that has rounded edges. And you can hit control to do a little bit more narrower path. And you can see how it blends in nicely with the grass. Uh, so I think I